Hi guys, just a quick video, uh, between videos should I say, um, when I was under the car doing the wheels and putting it all back on and doing the brakes the other day, um, I noticed that on the driver's side heat shield above the exhaust was hanging off, uh, so I've got under the car today and I've taken it down and discovered this. If you look, these holes uh, have rotted away they're meant to be like this so for a quick fix until I can get a new heat shield what I've done is I've got a bit of this stuff and I've just cut a little bit off of it what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over like that and then put the bolt that comes with the funny looking things straight over the top of it and I just hold it back up into place if I show you under the car, this bolt, the nut or bolt, whatever you call them, um, is actually still on the car, so I've soaked it in penetrant fluid. Let me show you. Okay, so that's the one that's good. And just there, look, you can see the one that's rusted on there that I've soaked in penetrant. I'm going to give it a few minutes and try and get it off. If not, the two should hold it, look, there. And that one there with a little bit of metal and as you can see under here it does need a good clean and a good scrape down so that's a project maybe for the winter okay so that's the best that can I can get I'm going to put the heat shield back up and try this little thing Let's see if it works clearly see here I hope that the regular one wouldn't have gone back in it would have just fallen through so if I can somehow get this little piece put it over like that Do that with it. Hope you can see that, but it's holding it. I've got to try and get this one off because it's not budging, so I'm not going to worry. So now, and then put. Let's see if I can get a better angle on the camera. This one's back in. These are weird little things. I mean. Do you really need a heat shield? Yeah, because it just reflects the heat on the car. Um, just need to come up with a 10 mil. Like okay, and then this is this that one you can see just going to up until that do. But that will hold because these ain't they're too heavy, but I will do this one if I can get this piece off like this one. So it's just a quick fix for now to get me by. And there's the other one. Not the best, but it'll do. Compared to what it looked like, like this, to this, just hold it up. Cause it's banging on the bottom, like rattling on the bottom of the exhaust. So that's another one done. So this is all I used to fix that little, the little rattle. Some penetrant fluid, bit of this, whatever it's called, 
I've had it laying around for ages, a bit of wire brush to remove some of the rust and a 10mm socket or spanner. So if you guys ever find yourself in that situation where your heat shield's rattling above your exhaust, you know, give it plenty of penetrant fluid, try and loosen up the bolts if you can, get them down, all the nuts, I don't know what they're called, they're funny little things, um, get them off, get a bit of metal, like I showed you there, or a bit of tin can or something, that's obviously bigger than the diameter of the hole and then clean up and put it back on and it's just a quick fix it's not a permanent fix just a quick fix to get you out of a situation uh, some people may even remove the heat shield altogether um, I've just put it back up for now because I'm going away so <clears throat> that's how I've just done a quick fix on this car I don't know if it's, it's, it is literally just a temporary fix it's not permanent I'm going to stay like that so I'm going to get on the bay now and hunt out in the next few days for a new heat shield and um, hopefully I can get another video on that one. If not, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button here. Give us a thumbs up and um, thanks for watching. Bye for now.